So the Fed just approved two new credit scoring models that can have a good effect or a bad effect. Now the two new scoring models are models that are already out, but it was all uh, speculation at first. The Federal Housing Finance Agency just a actually approved the two new models for use by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Now, if you don't know who Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are, they are the agencies that buy and back government mortgage loans. So if you ever heard of FHA, which is like a three and a half percent down mortgage for buyers that want to put less money down, that is who backs those mortgages. And they are now approving lenders to use these two new models. The two new models or models that have been out for a while are Vantage and FICO 10T. Now, Vantage is what you see on Credit Karma. Um, your FICO 10T, you can find on the My FICO app, which you have to pay for. Now, here's the reason why I'm saying that it could potentially help or hurt, you know, future borrowers when it comes to buying homes. And even if these um, banks pick it up, you know, just for to issue credit cards. So Vantage is normally in people's favors. However, FICO 10T is the total opposite of what a Vantage or the average FICO model. FICO 10T means FICO trend It's trended data. Let's just say you have 50% credit card utilization. If you pay that credit card off and then they report to the bureaus, your Vantage score will go up, but your FICO 10T will not go up because FICO 10T again is trended data. FICO 10T looks at how long have you had your credit cards paid off versus Vantage where it's like, oh, you paid your credit card off? Good job, we'll reward you with points. If these lenders start using Vantage, then cool, you know, it will be, you know, it will be great because a lot of people have decent Vantage scores. Some people's Vantage scores are higher than, you know, their FICO 5, 6, 7, right? But the FICO 10T, okay, if they heavily use that, it is going to push a lot of borrowers, you know, when it comes to credit, whether it's for homes or if it gets adopted on the credit card side, it's going to push a lot of people out. Um, because again, it's based on how long have you had these good credit habits. So for anybody that's had good credit habits for the past two or three years, you'll be fine. But for, for my people that are just now working on their credit and that are just now building, you know, better habits, the FICO 10T could affect you. I suggest you get the My FICO app. And for most people, their FICO 10T scores are lower than the other FICO models and the Vantage scores because it is, it is calculated totally different than um, the, all the other FICO models, okay? So, you know, those models are calculated based on, you know, what you've done, you know, you know how, how, you, how your credit is adjusted every month. You know, did, did you take out new credit or did you pay off your credit costs? And it will, will reward you with, higher, with an increase or decrease depending on if you do the opposite. But FICO 10T is based on, you know, what you've been doing the last two years as a whole. They're looking at the entire time span versus just last month or versus just this month which again, like I said, it can hurt some borrowers and it can help some borrowers depending on you know, how, how you treat your credit. So with that being said, start today if you can and come up with new habits for your credit. You know, I suggest you, you completely pay your credit cards off. FICO 10T is a totally different monster. And before you actually start applying for loans, make sure that you ask the lender, um, are they using Vantage? Are they using FICO 10T? Are they using FICO 5, 6, 7? You know, just, just ask them before you get an inquiry. And last, last but not least, just to add to that, when you apply for a mortgage, you can, you, can, you can go to 10 different mortgage companies and have your credit ran 10 times. It will only drop your score one time. So with that being said, y'all better tighten up out there because things are definitely changing. And depending on how you treat your credit, it can be in your favor or it can be going against you.